Humanoid robots are incredibly complex machines that are as fragile as they are versatile, meaning their use in practical applications is limited just yet. In the last decade, Romella has created Darwin, the award-winning miniature humanoid, Charlie, the full-sized RoboCup champion, Thor RD, a rescue robot designed for disaster relief, Sapphire, the shipboard autonomous firefighting robot, and Thor, an advanced full-size humanoid that utilizes custom linear series elastic actuators with impedance control. One of the reasons why bipedal walking is difficult is because of an offset in the hip joints. This creates undesirable oscillatory moments that force the robot to take small, calculated steps. However, when taking steps side to side, these moments don't appear. Furthermore, the forward-facing knees aren't being used and they can be rotated by 90 degrees so that the legs are aligned in a plane. By aligning the legs in the sagittal plane, we can achieve stable forward walking. Because the legs are restricted to a plane, we can take out the ankle and simplify the foot. In addition to these simplifications, we can also change the shins and head to make the robot more versatile. Simulations showed the potential of the platform from an early stage by exploding the fact that there is no need for biological systems such as blood vessels and nerves in a robot mechanism, we can add a continuous joint at the knee that allows for even more modes of locomotion. This feature can be used to go over a tall door sill, like the kind you might find on a ship. The continuous knees also provide an elegant method for climbing stairs. After two weeks of grueling work, we present Naviros, non-anthropomorphic bipedal robotic system, a fresh new approach to a simple, lightweight, and practical bipedal robot. You're wild! <laughs> the robot boasts a lightweight aluminum and carbon fiber architecture. It has one degree of freedom at each hip, one degree of freedom at each knee, and compliance in the feet. At a height of 135 centimeters, the robot is comparable in height to a human. However, with an external power source, it only weighs 3.97 kilograms due to its lightweight construction and because its leg configuration doesn't need as many actuators. Initial testing shows the inherent stability of the system, even under open loop control. This test shows the robot utilizing the compliance in its feet to generate an energy efficient walking gait. This test demonstrates the robot jumping by utilizing the foot compliance. The compliance in the feet also allow for walking through unstructured terrain under open loop control. With the ability to perform such dynamic motions stably, it is possible to convey human-like emotions through the actions of the robot. This is just the start of the project. In the future, we plan to add much more functionality to this evolving platform.